Hey, so what's going on people? I got two videos to knock out today. So I also don't have a whole lot of time. It's what, 3.50 in the afternoon and I gotta kind of get somewhere in a couple hours from now. So the whole editing and encoding and uploading and all that, it takes a lot of time. So I won't be doing as much of a backstory on things, which maybe some of you guys are excited about because it gets right to the video or the, the shoe I should say and maybe some of you guys don't like that because you maybe you want to hear about my day or the backstory of why I buy the things I buy but anywho uh, you can also comment down below how you feel about that but regardless I'm always going to have like these little timestamp things in the I'm mostly going to have these little timestamp things in the description and somewhere on the screen so you kind of just click ahead to where you want to be anyway uh, anyway so First box first, right? Right here you have a typical Nike Just Do It box. So what's going to be in here is uh, something that I'm guessing probably most people aren't super familiar with because I don't think I've seen anybody talking about them. I'm not trying to not make it sound like I'm cool, but I think it's just because like, people just didn't care. Um, but they sat around for a while in a couple different places. I saw them at some point on finish line. And I'm one of those people who are like, you know how you see certain colors and you're like, I want that, right? Like, because you're just drawn to them, right? So maybe it's, for me, it's like the neon greens, the, uh, I also like the, the black and the yellows, obviously, if you've seen make the thumbnail. But yeah, so I saw these initially and I'm like, I don't know what that is, but I kind of want it. Like, for some reason, I, I want to have that. And so now, uh... $53 later, here we are. So this pretty, uh, it's a change from the normal boxes I get, so that's kind of nice, but it's still just a very standard Jordan box. But I haven't opened a pair of Jordans in a while. No, I just did the Crimson Tents. Twice. Anyways, so let's, uh, let's get into this, shall we? Just typical Jordan style paper in there, so, you know, not too bad. Looks like it's been untouched, probably hanging out in a warehouse for some amount of time. And here we have it. This is the, what is this thing called? The, the Jordan Racer 88. So, yeah, it's, it's nothing amazing, right? But I do, I did want it. I was kind of curious what these things were all about. Let's get this other shoe out too. Again, you gotta make sure everything's on the up and up when you're doing this stuff. You know, don't wanna end up with another one of those Indigo Have a Nike Day debacles. So that was just got off. Watch the video videos if you haven't the links will be up top they probably scrolled through by now anyway so this is black varsity maze right now I, was, I looked at it and i saw the black and the yellow and i was like well i'm probably on board already and then i saw the price and i was like yeah i i can do that because the retail i want to say it was like a hundred yeah retail is a hundred even right and like i said because of the uh, nike slashing prices trying to get things out of the way and just um, whatever coupon code they had on top of it for their springs, not springs, some sale they did like two weeks ago. That's why these came out to 55. Anyway, so let's get into this. So this right here, a lot of people probably aren't familiar with it. I wasn't familiar with it until I, a few minutes ago, I, honestly. But it was like the, uh, the Zoom Tenacity 88. That was a shoe that came out in the earlier part of 2018 and was very much the same as this. Uh, a picture should have popped up by now on the side somewhere. Yes, yeah, so it's very much the same as this, but the, the outsole here, the midsole, was uh, different from, I, I don't really remember what it looked like in, in my head, but um, it was different. So supposedly these are just kind of a little more tuned for performance. So we'll see. I mean, I don't really, f I'm not gonna run in these because I have the shoes that I like to run in, and this is, does not, it doesn't even look like it's going to be great for that. But, assuming they fit like I want them to fit, I like the way they look. So, let's, uh, let's talk about that, though. So, this here, this, this sole here, nothing, nothing spectacular. I mean, it looks kind of like, almost like one of those Roshi soles, but just with lines. So, that's something. The outsole almost kind of reminds me of like the uh what you see on like some of the react shoes Is it? yeah like those like the pegasus 35 turbos just not as you know, not as like waffly these have a little more of just like they look like they're built for traction perhaps but it, all, at the same time 
it looks very slippery. You know, it looks like it's it wouldn't really do a whole lot for you. So, I mean, we'll see how that is. It actually says waffle skin on the bottom. I, I mean, I thought waffle just because that's how it looks to me. But yeah, so that's that's kind of cool. It's got like the gray with the white. Not a bad touch. Moving past that onto the upper though, like one of the things that I do like is this elephant print because. This model, the uh, Racer 88 and the Tenacity, the Zoom Tenacity 88, both have a fair amount in common with like the three as far as that goes, right? Which is cool, you know? That's, a, that's actually one of the things I like about those. But these, it has it on there. It's not as premium feeling. It looks like it's just like a printed piece of whatever that plasticky type stuff is and then just laid over it. But whatever I mean for a hundred dollars what do you really expect right and then this upper though this upper is some kind of like mesh sort of style let me get this thing out of here because you never really should. yeah it's got a around the around this part where the laces are it does feel a little more rigid so that's kind of a good thing you know to give you to really kind of lock your foot in place maybe this part down here around the toe box area feels very open so it's likely gonna be fairly breathable I mean, and even just looking through it, you can kind of see, you can see a lot of light getting in there. I don't know how it's looking from that side, but it is. So, yeah, I, I kind of like the way these things are looking. Oh, I've got a little two-minute warning. I need to delete some stuff off this thing. And then pass that onto the upper here, upper part of the tongue here. It's like just the standard Jordan Jumpman on the front there with some yellow around the uh, these lace hoop things and then up here. And on the back it says run. Again, I don't see me running in these, but we'll see. We'll see. And also the uh, the shoes are both looking really good. Like, again, I'm pretty sure these have never been touched. So that's cool. But uh, now it's time to throw these on and see how that fits. How, how they yeah, how they fit, how they work out. So give me a second. I also got to delete some stuff apparently. And then I'll be back. All right. All right, boys and girls, I'm back. So first up, we got these here Racer 88s. Uh, so again, that that's this is what we're talking about, right? Here, the Racer 88. First off, this uh this lacing area here, not a huge fan of that. It's very flimsy looking as you feel like pulling it on your foot and all that stuff. It's I don't know, it's just strange to me. And one thing also the. Uh, inner part there you can kind of tell like like i was saying before very very breathable these actually feel pretty good on foot speaking of you know, the videos anyway so again these feel these feel actually pretty good like to wear i obviously i only walked around right here in my uh, living room and all that but they feel a lot better than i expected just based off of the look but again <laughs> it's funny because like, i bought them for the look which is just elephant print and like the uh, black and yellow huge fan right but um one thing i will say like on these and i had seen a couple things in a lot of comments saying to go up half a size and i didn't have a choice because they were out of nines i went with the nine and a half these fit perfectly so when people say that these run small yes they do so i went up half a size like i said solid fit solid fit so it does i mean you may you might want to consider going up more than that if you're one of those like wide foot guys because it is a little on the narrowish side you know what i'm saying but i don't know like for um for this type of shoe like it's i don't know since i don't have a wide foot it's hard to say because like it feels like it's just stretchy enough that you might be all right i just know that it's a common thing to go up the whole size when you're doing like when you have the wide foot thing going on but yeah, so the one thing I really only have to complain about is just, just that lacing part there. I just don't like it. Like these upper lace, just pulling them pulling them tighter, just you pull and it didn't feel like it was doing anything. Like they just like, I'm not budging. Like when you see people walking their dogs and like they try to pull the dog and the dog's like, no, right? It's like, I'm not, I'm not going any further. That's how they felt. So you got had to kind of work with it. So there you go. That's a... Uh, that's as much as I have to say for a review. Comfortable, size up by at least half. I, I would say half. You know, if you're brave, go go full up, but uh, half should be fine. Uh, yeah, other than that, uh, if you can find these, because 
I think because those clearance sales, they're, they're mostly sold out in a lot of places, but they're probably still hanging out on shelves of like Marshalls and outlets and things like that. So yeah, uh, definitely worth checking out though. No complaints out of me. So glad I had to have them. All right, that concludes this. So go ahead, find yourself a pair of racers. Also, um, before you go off to other parts of the internet, maybe you've seen this WrestleMania shirt. That's what I'm wearing today because it's Friday and I wear you know, whatever I feel like on a Friday. No constraints. None of that Wrestling Wednesday or Music Monday or Throwback Thursday thing. Just wear whatever. Uh, so comment down below if there's some sort of event that you've been to that you thought was pretty awesome. Whether it be a music festival. Maybe it was a, a house party at some dude's house. You know, maybe it was Burning Man. I don't know. Yeah, let's talk about it though. Alright, I'll see you guys later. I got another video to finish, I guess. Yeah. So, uh... Stay tuned, because there's going to be another video after this one also uploaded today. See you when I see you.